one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. <laughs> Hello, our viewers. Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Mabel from Out and Proud African LGBTI. As we've been, we've been doing in our previous videos, we're here again today, this month of July. We're recognizing refugees and asylum seekers who are part of the LGBTI community and they're showing us our talent and we're getting to know about their stories and their experiences and how they have managed to express their passions and their talents. Today with us we have... All right, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Henry Katumba and I'm a Ugandan and I'm a gay man. Nice to meet you, Henry. Nice to meet you too. So tell us, who is Henry? Tell us more about you. Yeah, um, as we mentioned, uh, my name is Henry Katumba. Yes. I'm a Ugandan. I was born in the capital city of Uganda, which is Kampala, uh, in a region called Kansanga. And that's where I grew up from. My family, my parents were both Christians and very staunch Catholic Christians. and. I remember when I was around 10 years, I joined a group, it was a musical group, cause I was very good at dancing, I was talented, I could dance, I could sing. So I joined a musical group and as I was in the, in the course of my growing up, when I reached in my teen age, mm -hmm. I started realizing that my feelings were different from the rest of the boys. At that time I realized that I was attracted to my fellow boys and in this Christian group, they were always telling us that being gay is something very evil and they would say all sorts of bad things about homosexuality and it was really a difficult time. So how did you, how did you manage? Did you ever tell anyone about your conflictions? I never told anyone because I could not come and open up to anyone about my feelings because everyone was against it. Everyone was against homosexuality, starting from my family, from all the leaders in the group. They would tell us it is something very bad. Mm. So I could not come out and tell anyone about it. Instead, I would just keep it to myself and just live discreetly and just pretend that I'm a straight man. But I was not. Inside me, I had feelings and I had gay thoughts because I had feelings for my fellow boys. Mm. So it was not. It was really a difficult time. It was not something really easy to manage. Mm. But when I was in the group, I could see some of my fellow boys mm. who were also like confused about their sexuality, but they couldn't come out and tell anyone about it. Mm. And some of these boys who were caught like doing some sexual acts with their fellow boys would be punished. Some of them would be beaten and mm. some of them would be used as a bad example. And that created a lot of fear within me. And that's why I couldn't come out and tell anyone about it. How did you feel being in that position where you couldn't talk to anyone, know your parents, know your religious leaders about what you're going through? Um, this always made me feel really bad because I couldn't come out and tell anyone about the truth that I felt inside me because everyone was against it and it created a lot of burden. I I always felt like there was a fire burning inside me, but I could not let it out and tell it to anyone. I was forced to pretend or to live discreetly about something that I felt was part of me, because mm. I felt this was my life and this is my sexuality, this is how I feel. But I was supposed to pretend and hide my feelings, and I could not open, it, open up to anyone about it. So it was something really difficult, and it felt like a burden to me and it always made me feel really bad. Well, Henry, I understand you've been, um, this, is, this, this was not your first time in the UK, you've yeah. been traveling. Mm -hmm. So what happened? What made you decide to stay? Um, all the previous years I've been traveling to the UK. Um, I would come and then go back to Uganda, but at that time I was young. But the advantage is that when I would come to the UK, I would get exposed and see how different people behave and meet different people. Um, so when we would come to the UK, we would, we would meet people of different sexualities and we would see that it is welcomed and it is something that is acceptable. Mm. Someone to feel the way they feel, mm. 
and behave the way they behave. But when we could go back in Uganda, we would be filled with fear because of the homophobic messages that were preached unto us, mm -hmm. that were told unto us by the elders, and it was not something really, um, it was not something really good because it always made me to be fearful of my life. It always mm -hmm. kept me in fear. And, but when I could come to the UK, I would feel free because I would see that people who are of the same sexuality as me are accepted. Mm -hmm. And this always made me feel like there is a place of belonging in the UK where I could be with people who could accept me the way I am mm -hmm. without being discreet or without keep it, keeping it as a secret. Um, I remember one time we were at the airport mm -hmm. and I saw a couple, it was, I think someone was welcoming their partner and they were both, they were a gay couple and so when they, when the other person came, mm. they hugged each other and they pecked, they kissed and in my sense this stunned me because I had not seen anything like this in my life. Mm. So I was shocked and amazed at the same time because I didn't know that something like this could happen, mm. that people could show affection in public, yet mm. the entity is a man and a man because it is something that was forbidden in our country. Mm, yes. And then, when we were in the UK, we could go for shopping in places like in the West End, in Soho, mm -hmm. and I could see gay couples and they would move and they would show their affection in public without any fear. Mm. People would kiss, they would, they would hold hands, they would hug each other without any fear in them. Mm. And this clicked in my mind and it opened my mind that I can be open and I can be welcomed in this part of the world because there is a part of the world where people like me are accepted the way they are. Mm -hmm. There is a part of the world where I can live freely without pretending, mm -hmm. where I can show myself to the world and be open about who I am regarding my sexuality. Mm -hmm. And that's why I felt it is safe in the UK because I could be open about my sexuality as I've explained those incidents to you. Yes, Henry, I understand you're, you're a talented man. Yeah. You're part of a group, as you mentioned, a mm -hmm. music, dance and drama group. Yeah. So tell us more about your talents. Is it a, a passion you have or is it something you've gained skill from practice and training? Uh, it is something, I would say first of all, it is a passion. Mm -hmm. And second of all, it is a talent because since I was young, I've loved music. I've mm. loved each and every bit of music. I've loved dancing, I've loved singing, and it has always been a part of me mm. throughout my entire life since I was a child, okay. since in my childhood. And it has been really a nice experience because mm. music is one of the ways that I could feel relieved in myself. Mm. It could take all the stress away from me. Mm. So it has been a part of me throughout my life, and mm. it has been a passion. Okay. Yeah. So what are you going to show our viewers today? Are you going to sing for us? Are you going to dance for us? Yeah, I'm going to to, to do a dance. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be dancing. Okay, well, yeah. well the floor is yours. Henry is going to show us some of his dance moves. Get ready. Show us. Okay. So the first move, you're going to go side and side. Very easy. Side, side. and side. Side and side. Side and side. Side, side. So we are going to add in the waist a bit. Mm -hmm. that. Yeah, like that. So we are going to go side and side but with the waist. Okay. So one, two. One and two. One Eight. and two. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we are going to go on the beat. One and two. 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 Hey. One. <laughs> yes. Okay. So then the next move. One and two. One, two, one and two. One. Two, one, two. Then it's going to go on the beat, so it's going to be a bit fast. One, two, one and two. One, two, one and two. One, two, one and two. One, 
two, one and two, one, two, one and two. Then the last one. One and two. One and two. One and two. And one. So we are going to join them from the first one. One and two. One, two, three, we go. One and two. One and two. One and two. One. Together, Kala. One, two, one and two. 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 Together, Kala. One, two, one and two. One, two, one and two. The other one is we're going to go. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Chuma ni yamba de kakondo. Heel. Eh? Oh, yamba de kakondo. Damo, tulave. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Mm-hmm. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Heel. Mm. Inga chuzi suga lako. Eh, what you going to do? One and two. Ta, 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 ta. Sing some more there. And two. Yeah, we... One and two. One and two. Then to get out, walk again to get again against. One and two. One and two. One and two. One and two. Yeah, so we are going to be doing mostly Afro dances. So dances in the Afro beats. So I think we'll start with the easiest one that is trending. The first one is going to be this one, the leg work. So it's going to be one, two. One, two. Song, so music. <laughs> step, yeah, step, step, step. So, step, 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 step. So we're going to add it to the beat. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Then we turn. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's our first move, and then we're going to do our second move. So the second move is also going to be very easy. Um, so we're going to do one, two, then one, two, three, one, two, three. So we're going to start from the footwork up to there. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, down, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, one and two one and two so you don't need much energy for those moves they are really simple and then the other one um we do it's going to be this one one two three da. one two three da. Uh, two three uh, one and two. all right so we're going to add them from the beginning from the footwork. We go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Time. One, two, three, four. One, two. All right. One, and two. One, and two. One, and two. One. We go. One, two, three. Cut. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Then the last one, ta, 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 uh -huh. ta. So that's the last one. All right, so let's join from the footwork. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ta. Then, all right, just feel yourself. We don't need much energy. One and two. One. We go. One. Two, three, da, one, two, three, da, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so those are our moves for today. Yeah. All right, guys. So, my name is Henry, and if you want to learn more, I'll be back with more moves. So, that's for the beginner's lesson. Thank you very much. Peace. Oh my god, it's all about talent. I've given it my very, very best. But well, I think I did fairly well, I should say. Yeah, you did. It's really all about well. talent. Henry is a very talented person. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching our viewers. It's out and proud, African LGBTI. 
We've been with Henry today. We're recognizing the month of July for um, refugees and asylum seekers with talent. Uh, thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Like, subscribe and share. Thank you very much. Till we meet again. Ciao.